Hi, welcome back to Maxim's Inside Track. We're filming from our new office today, which is extremely exciting. You may hear a little bit of uh, construction noise around, but uh, we're just uh, preparing the office for uh, opening on uh, Monday. Uh, the world of dairy, um, GDT off slightly, still global milk flows relatively strong, uh, US milk flows strong, EU off a little bit, uh, and Oceania in our uh, winter months, um, low production, but still uh, a, sh a solid winter, and that should bode well going into new season. Uh, we've seen some really significant and strong opening milk prices from both Australia and uh, and New Zealand, so that'll encourage farmers to continue milking and supplementary feeding. And um, yeah, so global milk flows should be strong. Um, COVID still challenging, still vaccines rolling out, uh, shutdowns releasing, food service slowly opening. So you know that's a, a wait and see what uh, what happens. Um, China demand still extremely strong. Uh, I'll go through that in uh, in whole milk powder. Uh, logistics challenges haven't really eased just yet. Um, starting to see, or sorry, not see, talk of some improvements, but um, not quite filtering through just yet. But uh, we suspect that, that that will improve. It's just a matter of when and timing. So. Uh, we're starting to see American offerings very competitive globally. Uh, it's just a matter of getting product out of that region and, and into the, the rest of the world. Start with whole milk powder now. Once again, a really solid Chinese story. Their participation on the GDT um, was extremely high once again. Uh, we are seeing those latter months trail off in terms of pricing. Um, Chinese milk, internal milk prices are still extremely strong. However, that demand still outstripping whatever they can produce. So, uh, yeah, whilst um, that China demand's there, there is a question mark over how much inventory is sitting in China now. And, um, you know, a, a, another point is, is that uh, free trade agreement between uh, China and New Zealand with that tariff relief, uh, you know, they'll start to purchase for that coming up again soon. So we're suspecting that whole milk powder, even with solid milk flows out of New Zealand for the new season, um, could remain uh, pretty strong um, yeah, in, into that season. On a skim milk powder now, uh, a slightly uh, lower result on GDT. Uh, however, skim's still balanced globally. Uh, you've got US prices slowly increasing. That Mexican demand is, is solid. Uh, and then also, you know, international demand for US product growing, in particular in Southeast Asia uh, and Oceania. Pricing, you know, still relatively robust. So skim milk powder for the moment still remains balanced and, uh, and firm and uh, I believe will remain reasonably firmish. However, may drift off slightly um, into the latter part of 2021. Onto the fats now, butter and AMF, um, as we sort of predicted, uh, just drifting off slightly, uh, still reasonably balanced, good demand, production is there. We're seeing production down a little bit in the EU, off sort of 1.8 to 2% uh, uh, butter production. Uh, cream demand strong, uh, so we're, we're feeling that the EU prices are reasonably supported. Um, US, yeah, it has availability. Once again, that shipping piece out of there, uh, a challenge. Uh, An Oceana product, um, relatively firmish. Uh, you know, oh, once again, I think that these uh, fat prices will, will ease a little bit. Um, food service demand, as, uh, as we see that staggered opening up, um, will, will certainly have an impact. But uh, yeah, uh, fats, firmish. Um, potentially trailing off um, the next little while. Moving on to the cheeses now, cheddar and mozza, probably a bit more of an American story, US, uh, solid milk flows over there and um, food service demand opening up slightly, retail demand good. Going through that pipeline fill, uh, feels like that's happened and there's still some surplus product around, putting some downward pressure on pricing out of that region. 
Uh, European, you know, Gouda, cheddar prices are, are solid uh, and very balanced. Oceana, probably similar. So uh, the American supply uh, will be one to be watched from there. And um, yeah, we, we may see that uh, under a little bit of pressure in the short term um, and, then, uh, and then balancing out uh, a little bit later on. Thanks for bearing with us. There is some um, some construction noise around, but uh, we'll conclude this with the uh, whey lactose. Um, once again, demand still strong. That China importing for for whey for that piggery herd is is solid. Uh, lactose demand is good uh, from the major producers for standardising. Uh, we are starting to see that infant uh, grade product under some pressure. Um, caseins, caseinates, rennet casein, acid casein, all extremely firm. Um, yeah, these products going into sort of uh, retorted uh, product, uh, which is relatively high demand at the moment. So, um, yeah, that along with the WPC80s and WPIs, uh, still extremely firm. Uh, the nutritional benefits of these products um, and demand uh, solid. So. We suspect that um, that these prices will remain relatively firmish uh, at least for another quarter, maybe six months. So, yeah, not too much downside there. Uh, we look forward to revealing a little bit more of our office to you um, next round. And uh, stay safe. Thanks for listening. We'll catch up with you soon.